Saturday afternoon football will be the new norm for some local high schoolers. Games that would have played yesterday got moved to today instead. It's part of the fallout from recent fights between fans. It was business as usual on the football field Saturday. I was okay because I know the decision was made for the safety of the, the players and the parents and family and friends. Pensacken and Camden played different teams, each on their home turf. After chaos broke out at last Friday's game, the Pensacken chief of police sat down with the Department of Education and school administrators to discuss the future of home games this season. The games will go on. But the days have changed. The beginning of the year, there were five Saturday games. Today, there are 14 games being played on Saturday for various reasons, most of which are security. While the festivities, including the tradition of honoring seniors, continues, an increased police presence was visible. It was for the safety of the students, you know, and I appreciate them having that consideration for our students, you know. Especially considering all I've been hearing about going on, you know, at these games and with the kids and everything like that. Thankfully, no one was seriously injured or killed last Friday. That wasn't the case two years ago when 10 year old Micah Tennant was killed after a shooting erupted at a game between Camden and Pleasantville, sending players scrambling off the Pleasantville field. And last Friday night, there was another shooting near Cherry Hill West during the game against Bridgeton. It is sad. Unfortunately, this is happening more and more all the time, so you have to adjust and live your life accordingly. Due to the adjusted schedule, not all parents could come out to support. My husband couldn't make it because it changed. Never been an issue. So we want the kids to play football. We want the parents to see their kids play football. We want their friends to see it. Pensacan Public Schools say they have every intention to bring Friday night games back next year. Their final home game against Ewing High was scheduled for Saturday, October 30th, and that will remain on that date.